Well, thanks, guys. We are joined now by Station General Manager Kevin Bowers to talk about a couple of different things. First off, thanks for stopping by and visiting us with us on Faith and Friends. Um, Time Warner Cable, the dominant cable provider in our area, there's been some moving around of the 44 signal on Time Warner. Yes, and you know, Mark, I've spent a lot of time on the phone this summer, <laughs> really helping our viewers locate Channel 44 and Time Warner. They made some changes uh, to the basic schedule or to the basic service. And so if you're in the Lima area, you really want to check out 85.24 if you receive that basic service. Of course, if you have a digital box, we're still on Channel 4 in the Lima area. Yeah, I think that's where some of the confusion comes in is because there's so many different ways to get the cable signal from Time Warner. So it really does depend upon if you have the box or if you're still getting it through the actual monitor itself. And of course, if you're watching us right now, you are receiving our signal. So if you know of a friend or family member who's just a little confused, feel free to have them call us because it depends where you're located in our viewing area as to the channel that will be carried on. But uh, I think we have a graphic that basically lays that out for you if you have a digital box. And again, if you're on a basic service, it's 85.24 in the Lima area and 76.10 in Finley. And of course, both WTLW and WOSN have been broadcasting in high definition for several years now, but it's not a signal that's carried by Time Warner, which, you know, for the folks who are watching through the antenna or through other cable systems, they get to see a great picture that unfortunately the Time Warner customers don't get to see it. Is what can the viewers do about that situation? You know, that's so right though, because at home I'm on aerial and over the antenna, boy, we have a beautiful picture, both WSN, which is 44.2, and then 44.1. And area cable systems are carrying both channels and HD, and then uh, Time Warner is not. So, you know, as a consumer, as a subscriber, you have a lot of power, a lot of say in that. And I'd encourage everyone to call and say, you know, I want 44.1 and 44.2, WTLW and WSN in high definition, because you're missing out really on the local productions that we all we shoot all of it in high definition. It's about to become an important time of the year for us here at TV44. The annual fall campaign is about to get underway. What, uh, what, what is the, the goal for this year's fall campaign? Well, our goal is to raise $200,000 towards our operating expenses. And you know, Mark, we know statistically that over 90% of the people who watch TV44 in a given week do not support. Now that's a whole lot of opportunity for growth and uh, we do not want you to take the ministry for granted that well they'll just always be there no we never want to do that because i believe this is a gem in this uh, area in western ohio god has placed us here but he's called upon the local body of christ to support it we are stewards of this frequency and of this channel and he's putting it in our hands to support the ministry and we were talking earlier, Jennifer Beck and I, about you know the faith of a mustard seed, and it, it doesn't matter how big or small the the gift is, it is appreciated. That is absolutely true, and I'll, I'll encounter people that say, "Well, I could only give uh, this amount of money. I'm on fixed income," and it's like the idea, the very act that you want to give, is what is a blessing. So don't ever uh, think that two gift is too small. And you know, we all have different means. God has blessed us in so many different ways, and we have large contributors and smaller uh, contributors, and yet everybody is highly valued and appreciated, and we appreciate you for standing with us. You know, the call signal for WTLW is witnessing the living word, and I know that's something you're extremely passionate about, and, and that's why we, we have these pledge drives, is to, to be able to, to let people understand the passion for the outreach. Uh, that's exactly right. Now, our mission comes down to evangelize the lost, and to edify believers. And if you're a believer and you're encouraged on a daily basis through the programming on Channel 44, don't see us just as a video distributor. This is a local ministry touching lives. So don't go to the well and just receive that cold water. You know, give back, invest in this ministry. It's good seed. Before I let you go, I want to touch on one final thing. Recently, the station founder, Ron Mile, passed away. And just a, a few days ago, we had a memorial service for him. What did Ron Mile mean to you? Ron meant so much, and this is why, because I came to Christ in 1984 through the ministry of Channel 44. And I recall before that time watching Ron on the air, and he delivered really such a passionate presentation of the gospel. 
He is a man of conviction. And I want to tell you, this station would not be here if it was not for a man of conviction because he had so much to overcome in getting the station started. And then, of course, he was a mentor to me in those years as I grew in responsibility here at the station. So, you know, a lot of memories have flooded through my mind over the last couple of weeks through his passing. And we just really owe a debt of gratitude, not only to him, but his wife, Becky, who shared in the sacrifice and was just as instrumental in getting the station on the air. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. And of course, we've had some memorial services for Ron Mile. You've seen on the air what he has meant to us and certainly just another opportunity to, to thank him and thank his memory for what he has done both here at TV 44 and throughout Northwest and West Central Ohio. Well, we're going to send it back now to uh, Andy. I understand there's a rumor that Jennifer's back in studio now.